Okay, so this is the new uh, LED strip we got from Adafruit. Mm -hmm. um, we're just going to show you guys how we wired it up because some people have a bit of a problem with this. Right? Um, there is a diagram on their website which uh, runs you through, but just to get through it here. Right? The first cable here is, is black, is the ground cable. That's just going to go into our power supply. So we're using a power box to supply 2 amps at the moment. Um, this is guy here. So it's set up for 5 volts and it's going to take about 2 amps. Okay. The next one here is your power supply, the red. So this is going to be a positive going to your negative, okay? And then the two in the center are just going to be the control wires. So they go into your Adreno. So you're not actually powering the strip off the Adreno itself, you're powering it off some external power supply. Maybe a wall socket or a battery or a power supply box. So the only two cables that come into your Adreno then are going to be your control signals. And we have them connected up to two and three. They're both PWM pins. Okay, so the Adreno then is going to be set up, uh, and the code on the Adreno is going to be set up for those pins. So one other important thing then to do is the ground on the Adreno must be connected into the same ground as your power box or your power supply for a common ground. Okay, that should be it. So we give it a go. Okay, there we go. Kind of show the actual current going up, yeah. So you can see at the moment it's only drawing 0 0.07 amps. So whenever the LEDs kick in and they all start lighting at the same time, we'll see this will go up dramatically up to about one and a half, two, uh, two, two amps. And it says that it's rated at two amp per meter in the spec sheet, but that's only for when they're on uh, white, when they're all on white. So we find it's only going for about two amps for entire five strips of these LEDs. Okay, there you have it.